All right. Uh, six month follow up for my BV9500 Pro. Uh, I got a little list of things I wanted to go through here and talk about that I've been taking notes. Uh, one thing I will say is last time I talked about the weak camera glass, um, I replaced the glass and I put this little bumper. So that way the bumper makes contact with the ground first. Uh, definitely a flaw, one of the negatives. Uh, my original plan for replacing it was going to be I bought this entire back cover and the glass because the back cover comes with a new sticky. But once I got into looking into it, uh, another YouTube user went through opening up the entire phone. It was way more work than I wanted to get into. Then when I went to like uh, one of the cell phone repair shops, they opened it up too and they said, yeah, we don't want to get into it for as much as we quoted you and I didn't want to spend that much. So they just sort of heated up around where the glass was. They used like a little tip of a razor blade and it did mark it a very little bit. Uh, nothing worse than what I've already done to the phone, dropping it and peeled it away and used uh, a special glue and the, the little foam sticker was still there so it kept it at the same depth and pictures are clear again but anyway so going through my notes here sorry I'm looking through this uh, one of the first things is I get some strange strange noises uh, when recording video um, I'll try to find a clip and splice it in right now so that way you can hear what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's almost like that noise you'd get if you put your phone down and it's trying to receive service next to some other speaker and you get the little buzzing. Um, next thing that's been kind of annoying is sometimes the fring fingerprint sensor stops working uh, and you have to restart the phone. Hasn't happened a lot to me, but it has happened and then restarting the phone makes it work again. It'll, it'll say something along the lines of like fingerprint sensor completely disabled. Um, that's not the same as this next one that I'm about to say. Uh, say you're holding the phone here and you're talking to someone whatever and it, it it senses your finger it thinks like this spot of your finger it thinks it's your thumb and it continually tries and fails and eventually it locks it for a while where it says you need to let it sit and it could be really annoying because then if you're trying to open your phone and me I use the password as a second backup my password's really long so if I want to get into my phone quick um, can't do that uh, I wish there was a way to disable that. I mean, who cares if it keeps trying and it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong. Eventually, you need the right fingerprint and it'll open. <clears throat> Another intermittent problem I've had was uh, notification sounds for text messages and multimedia messages. All of a sudden, not working. Say I'm in the app typing a text and somebody messages me, it'll make the noise. But if I have the phone just sitting there or I'm outside the app, it would not make the noise even though the ringer and notification volumes are turned up. Had this also happen once with the phone ringer, restart the phone fixes it. Already talked about the camera lens cover is junk. They should have made it of Gorilla Glass. So that's, that is probably gonna be what kills me from recommending this phone because once that glass cracks, then you're not waterproof anymore. Uh, cheap part to fix, but doesn't matter. You shouldn't have a broken camera lens on a tough phone. <clears throat> I don't know if this next little complaint has to do with the auto disable the fingerprint sensor, but from time to time, all of a sudden, it won't say that I need to wait to use the fingerprint sensor. It just wants my password. Uh, I don't know if that's the phone restarting when it's in my pocket or sitting or whatever. Uh, not the end of the world. You just put in the password and everything works. Um, about two weeks ago, I had the time wrong. Um, my alarm goes off at 0530, but it said that it was 0110. 
went into the clock settings, it was right. Uh, if I pick the time zone again, it corrected itself. Weird glitch. I don't know. Um, on the Blackview forums, they told me that HDMI um, was supported through the USB-C at the bottom. I bought an adapter. It didn't really work. Um, I didn't try too hard. Maybe a better adapter would have worked because normally when there is no signal at all going into an HDMI port, a TV will not show it as active. It showed it as active and I could pick it and it just said no signal. So I'm thinking maybe it has something to do with the resolution. Um, to be able to plug directly into the TV, you need something that will change the resolution. Uh, I don't know too much about that. I didn't want to go spending money on all these adapters considering I didn't really need it that bad. Every once in a while I have a problem with my Bluetooth connection in my vehicle. Uh, I have a 2012 Ford F-250 with the Generation 1 sync system. It's old, but it's been reliable with my other phones. Um, I'll basically get my truck started. My Bluetooth is enabled on my cell phone and then my truck says that it can't connect. I pull down the little menu, hit the Bluetooth button to turn it off, put it back on, then the truck will connect. Don't know if that's the phone or my truck. Um, I had some sort of weird typo right there. Um, anyway, there's another third version of this phone now. I can't even remember what it's called, but it's I guess it's got a different processor in it. And that one is shipping with the new Android 9.0. I guess it's called Pi. And there's no announcement to update. Um, some people may like that. Some people may not. Um, I would hope that it would fix some of the glitches on the phone. Um, another thing, too, was there's no official ROM release for download. Uh, the forums promised releasing the ROM. So that way um, people could... You know, if they had an issue with their phone and they needed to reflash it or whatever, because a lot of these phones have gone out and people have had issues with bricking. Um, hey, anyway, th those are kind of my notes on some of the negatives. Um, but I will say, battery life's great. Uh, it's still working. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it. One thing I noticed, uh, try to catch the light right. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there with the reflection of the light. It's like, I don't know if it's separating or what, but it's like the littlest blemish on the screen. It's like underneath. I'm not too concerned about it. Um, oh, one thing, I think I mentioned this before, but it drives me nuts, is um, the screen, the touch screen part towards the bottom, it's not very sensitive. And if you're typing quickly, I it always does not pick up the space. I don't want to say it always does it, but it often does not pick up the space and then screws up all my words. Drives me nuts. Um, anyway, battery life's good. It's been relatively stable. Um, I haven't really had it had any major glitches where apps froze and everything. Um, still opens up quick. I have all kinds of stuff loaded on here. Nothing too crazy. Um, not the fastest when it comes to games and stuff. Even with Boom Beach, uh, it's the only game I even play in here. Um, you'll see, I'll go in and I kind of do a battle, I guess, over here, but this is weird looking through my phone and looking at the screen. But uh, it doesn't, it's like even when you land a whole bunch of troops and stuff, it's like it lags. It's not super fast. And that isn't anything to do with the connection. Let's see if I can win here, and you'll see that. See how it's even lagging a little bit right there. It's like it runs stable. Eh, now it's not doing it, but I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it. I love how loud the speaker is on this thing. It's awesome because I work in a loud environment, and being able to hear the ringer if I leave it over in my truck or something like that is awesome. Uh, same thing like if I want to set it out and listen to music or I need to use like a YouTube video to diagnose a problem with something I got going on at work 
with like a pump or something like that, um, it's great to be able to pick it up and do that. It has a ton of internal space for storing pictures and stuff like that. Um, I didn't even mount an extra SD card on here. Um, I didn't feel that I needed to because it has 128 gigabytes. Um, I'm not really sure what else to say about it. Uh, I just wanted to follow up and say that it's working. Probably should have paid attention more to my battle here. Messed up my win streak. But um, overall, I don't know if I would. I don't know if I would buy the phone again. The biggest thing for me is the camera on the back. If that didn't break so easily, I probably would have a much different opinion. I could look past the other glitches with the phone. Um, the other thing too is I didn't really find myself using the intercom app as much as I thought I would. Uh, I find it easier to just grab my, keep the Baofeng radio around when I'm out at the ranch uh, where there's no cell service. But I will say, it, I guess it's a comfort thing it's nice that it's there as a backup. I probably would use it a lot more if you didn't need to attach an external antenna. I understand why you have to have the external antenna because I'm sure if you crammed that antenna in the phone somewhere, there'd be so much interference with the signal on both sides that it just wouldn't really work that good. Um, I'm still gonna post another couple videos about the phone. Um, some people have said they've had issues with slow charging. I have an idea what that is and stuff. Um, I don't know if you could hear it. There's still like a loose screw inside too that I reported last time in my two month video. It kind of drives me nuts, but the phone works. Kids have dropped it, I've dropped it. Um, it's gotten wet and I haven't like completely submerged it in water because I was worried with that glass break in the back. Um, but I've dropped it hard a bunch of times, sand, driveway. Uh, kids, um, stuff like that. But uh, I don't know. I hope that Blackview gets their act together. And I think it's a quality control issue. And then they need to not do stupid stuff like what they did with this camera glass. Um, if I buy a new phone, it would probably be the new Kyocera. Duraforce Pro 2. Unless Blackview comes out with something and other guinea pigs say, yeah, it came out pretty good. But um, if you have any other specific questions on the phone uh, that I didn't cover in any of the videos that I've done so far, uh, leave me a message in the comments below. Or uh, the Blackview forms are pretty good. I'll put a link in the description.